I now invite Advocate Jose Abraham, President of the Pravasi Legal Cell, to introduce the topic before we begin the discussion. Jose Abraham is an advocate on record in the Supreme Court of India. He is the founding president of Pravasi Legal Cell, Secretary Committee for Law and Public Interest Litigation of the Catholic Bishops Conference of India and Chairman Paid Idea Institute of Training, Research and Education, New Delhi. He is also consultant and legal advisor to many reputed NGOs and educational institutions. Advocate Abraham has postgraduate degrees in both political science and law and is working currently on Indian immigration laws as part of his PhD research. I welcome you, sir. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the consultation meeting on repatriation of mortal remains organized by Pravasi Legal Cell. Pravasi Legal Cell is a registered national NGO working with the objective of empowering people with the power of law. It is going to be 10 years of pro bono legal service to the most poor and exploited individuals and communities in the society. It is with satisfaction and greater motivation for further action that Pravasi Legal Cell is nearing toward its 10th anniversary. We have taken up many issues of divergent nature in the past and were fortunate to influence positively the lives of thousands of people directly and indirectly. Numerous matters of injustice and rights violations in individual cases were fought at different judicial platforms. A few matters highly relevant for social engineering and transformation were also taken up by the cell in the past before the government and the courts. Issues related to death, abroad and repatriation of mortal remains is one such area. It has been a matter that Pravasi Legal Cell has been working on for years now. To share with you an unfortunate example from our own experience, it was after a prolonged legal fight and the intervention of the Honorable High Court of Delhi that the mortal remains of Mr. Mohammed Afsar, a resident of Charkhan, could be brought home after 14 months in 2016. In this case, the Honorable Court had observed that there is no one to fight for the right of the dead. In the last few years, we have received many requests for legal assistance from families of migrant Indian laborers who have died abroad. It is not something that affects the illiterate and unskilled laborers alone. There have been cases where families of highly skilled professionals working at senior designations had to face rights violations and legal crises after the death of their dear ones abroad. Once an employee dies abroad, it becomes really difficult to demand due justice in the form of compensations and benefits. Not only the person dead, but their families as well become voiceless as far as matters in foreign land are concerned. Hence, this is an area and very sensitive that affects every migrant and their families. The process of repatriation itself is tiring and challenging. We all know it takes long to clear legal and medical procedures before a dead body can be transported back to India. It was over this that Air India had come up with a regulation that for any transportation of human remains to India, a prior notice of 48 hours should be given to the airport authorities, further delaying the process and causing greater agony to the grieving family. Pravasi Legal Cell is happy to inform that this regulation was successfully challenged by Pravasi Legal Cell in 2017 before the Honorable High Court of Delhi. Pravasi Legal Cell has for long been requesting the Ministry of External Affairs to frame policy on the repatriation of mortal remains. Memorandums and representations were sent repeatedly to the Ministry. We have also asked the Ministry repeatedly for setting up mechanism 
through the Indian missions abroad for providing free legal aid to the Indian immigrants. It was in this background that Pravasi Legal Cell took the issue of repatriation of mortal remains before the Honorable High Court of Delhi in the form of a public interest litigation. In the PIL, we have pointed out the violation of human rights and human dignity involved in the matter. The court has taken serious note of the matter and had issued notice to Air India, the Union Ministry for Civil Aviation and Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Along with the legal recourse, we also believe the public needs to be made sensitive to this issue and a public opinion has to be formed as part of fighting this human rights violation in the most unfortunate situation. We are really happy to have all of you with us in this meeting to discuss and get informed on the matter. We hope that after the meeting is over, each of you will take up this matter in your own ways and spread awareness about it in the society. I wish all of you present a very fruitful and enriching discussion. Thank you.